Welcome back to the farm. Today I'm going to show you how I make my hand dipped candles. This was some peppermint that I had picked and I just wrapped a little piece of material around it. And it's hanging in the farm stand as a display. But those are the hand dipped candles that we're going to make today. So I got the wax melting over here. This is how I set up the wick to be dipped. I used to just use a piece of cardboard but I got tired of making a piece of cardboard every time. So I made these little wooden blocks and the little indentation hold the wick in place. So we're going to make 8 inch candles. That's our goal. So first off we I use number 2 wick and we're going to cut 21 inches. going to just grab the block. Now you want to get it even so I grab the ends of the wick, find this middle, and then I just put it on there. Double check that it's even. I simply grab the end again, pull. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Again, I just grab the end. And with the cardboard, you just want to pull it through those little notches that you make. That's a little short on that one side. I'm going to adjust that. too much. Ah, that's good. That's good. Okay. Don't need the wick anymore or the ruler. So this is what I'm going to be dipping in. I just save all of oil containers. I have one that has some wax in it that will melt and I will use this wax to refill the one I'm dipping in to keep it at a constant level. So we're a little ways away yet, I'm waiting for the wax. But in the meantime, we got everything ready. I grab from this end and I will dip it into the wax, bring it over here, hang it up. And I work my way down. And then when I get to the end, I actually will keep track of how many times I dip it because I'll forget. And that way it gives me a nice consistent candle. I have, uh, what am I going for here? About three quarters of an inch in diameter, roughly. It sits in a candle holder really nice. So that's what we're attempting to do. So first what we need to do is prime the wick. Now I'm what that entails is dipping the wick into the wax and you might be able to see little air bubbles come up as the wax is soaking into the wick. So we're just gonna bring it down into there. Want to keep it apart. I'm not sure if you can see, but there are a few little air bubbles. And we just wait until those air bubbles have stopped. And then we're gonna pull it up. And then we hang it up. Now what I do at this stage is I will grab the bottom and I will just straighten it out. Okay. 
And now the wick is primed. Let's do the other one. can't see it but trust me there's little air bubbles coming up and down and we'll just work our way down the line now this is just priming the wick. Dipping it will be a lot quicker. Now I just use a skewer and I make sure that all the wax is melted. And it has. Now remember this one here has got wax melting that we're going to use to refill this one so we can keep it at a consistent level. Piece there. Our wicks are primed and now we're just going to go down into the wax and up and then hang it up. We're going to work our way down the row. Now we're going to keep doing that. By the time I get to the end, the first is cool enough to dip again. dips on each candle but this is a step that I do every sixth dip I have two sheets of glass here one side is um, one side is rough but I don't use that side I use the smooth side and what I'm going to do is roll the candles real quick between two sheets of glass it makes for an amazing rolled candle smooth and straight and I just use the weight of the sheet of glass. You just get such a beautiful product. Okay. Look at that. Beautiful and straight. So now we're just going to do the rest of them while the wax is still warm. They're a bit fragile, so you have to do this 
delicately. Start again. I made this stand. I just built it, put some hooks on there. Got some washers. It looks like now after I dip the whole row, I will have to add some more wax every time. These beeswax candles burn about one inch per hour. So we're just going to measure, make sure we're at the proper width. And we are at three quarters. That looks good. So I'm going to roll the candles one more time, trim them up, and then give them a final dipping. The wick was about eight and a half inches long. So I'm going to measure eight and a half inches and then trim them up. Oh, 
hoping I don't cut into the wick. Yeah, just at the bottom of the wick. That's perfect. So now when I go to um, dip it one last time, it will cover that wick that is exposed. You see that? It's covered, cut right just at the bottom there. So one more dip and that will cover it. And there you have it. So the candles will remain hanging here to cure overnight and then we will remove them in the morning. Hand dipped beeswax candles. Remember, use what you have and do what you can. Aren't those beautiful?